What are the top five features that Battlefront 3 needs to have? Let's talk about that today on the Star Wars Battlefront 3 show. Now, being a huge Battlefront fan, I obviously have a wish list for what I'd love to see in the next game. So, this list is going to be a mixture of my own personal wishes for Battlefront 3, as well as the community's wishes for Battlefront 3. Now, I just want to say this video would not have been possible without the help of the Who Else Wants Star Wars Battlefront 3 fan page on Facebook. You better go check them out. we got a community over there of 40,000 Battlefront fans, and they voted, uh, they submitted hundreds and hundreds of votes on what they thought would be the best features. So shout out to the admin over there for hooking me up with that poll on the page. And thanks to all the awesome fans out there who voted. Now let's jump right into the features. Number one, which is my personal favorite and the communities with over 500 votes for this to be the number one feature in Star Wars Battlefront 3, Land of Space Combat. Now as we know, Free Radical is actually working on the technology to have land space battles in their version of the game, and this was carried on over into the Elite Squadron game. So at this point, it's kind of a given. The next Battlefront game better have land space combat because, quite frankly, it would just be an awesome thing to add. It would be awesome for multiplayer where one your friends can, you know, half of you guys go up on the space, half of you guys lead the ground assault. Uh, it'd be a great thing for teamwork and strategic mm -hmm. victories. It would just be a great thing to have in the game and I really hope that they have this. This is by far my number one thing that I want in Battlefront 3. Number two, this one, all me, not the community at all. Now, while some of the community did say that they wanted Galactic Conquest, I'm going a little further than that. The number two thing that I want to see in Star Wars Battlefront 3 is multiplayer Galactic Conquest mode. Now I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago actually talking about what they could possibly do with a multiplayer Galactic Conquest mode, whether it just was, I was the general of one army, you were the general of other, we have an army of computers and we'll play against each other, that's one thing. But what about the fact of having a team captain who makes decisions and every soldier in the game is an actual player? There are so many opportunities that you could do with a multiplayer Galactic Conquest mode. It would just add so much more game time to the actual game. And so this is my number two feature that I want to see in Star Wars Battlefront 3. Now, number three is kind of a given, but it was actually number three on the Who Else Wants Star Wars Battlefront 3 fan page poll. So I figured I'd include it. We want first and third person views in Battlefront 3. Now, Battlefront 1 and 2 did both feature a first person view and a third person view. While the game is classified as a third person shooter and is made to play in third person, you also have the option of playing in first person. Now, in my opinion, and I think in some other people's opinions as well, the first person was not as polished as the third person view, which isn't really a problem to me because I prefer to play the game how it was designed to be played, which is in third person. But I think that with this new game, Game, you need to keep both first and third person and make them both polished and clean views so that players that like the third person and old look of Battlefront 1 and 2 can come back and play this, but you could also appeal to a first person shooter market. That's just my opinions. Honestly, I'd be fine if it just had third person, but I know that a lot of people actually like the first person game mode, so I think this game needs to definitely have both and they need to both be super good. That's number three on the five things that we need in Star Wars Battlefront 3. Number four, destructible environments. Now this is not actually something I really thought about too much, but it was number two on the community list with over 300 people voicing that they would like to see this. I thought about it a little, and I agree. Now where I don't know how exactly they would implement this for certain maps, as I do think that destructing certain environments would kind of cause you to fall into a space void, there's definitely certain maps where you could certainly do this. There's definitely a lot of things they could do with this. I'm a huge fan of the destructible environments in the Force Unleashed where you can kind of break a window and people will fly out into the deep space or you can, um, you know, throw stuff at people. Maybe if you're playing as a Jedi character in Battlefront 3, you can throw stuff at people. Maybe you can, you know, be playing on um, some kind of spaceship or in a space battle or just playing on a map. Uh, like the Death Star or something, and maybe you could shoot a window out, maybe the other teammates uh, will fly out, or maybe you'll fly out too. I don't know. There's definitely ways they can implement this. Um, I don't think I'd want this to be something they overdo, because I feel like it can be overdone, where to the point where you can just blow everything up. That would kind of overdo it. But to make some points of the environment destructible, definitely something I'd like to see in the next game. And that's my number four on the top five features we need to see 
in Battlefront 3. Now, number 5 was actually the community's number 4, and it's something that Battlefront 3 should probably get to kind of evolve to the modern day shooter standards. Now, in my opinion, it's not something we definitely need, but something that the community wants to see is custom armor and loadouts. Now, personally, I'm a huge fan of how Battlefront 2 was and Battlefront 1, where the classes were kind of pre-made for you and you just chose them. However, it could get a little confusing with everybody looking the same, and so custom armor would definitely be something cool. As far as custom loadouts go, also something I would like to see, but not need it. I just feel like I really liked how you kind of just played your role. You could be the sniper, you could be the engineer, you could be, you know, the heavy, you could be your standard clone trooper or whatever. Just, I kind of liked how that is because everybody kind of knew their role and what they had to do. However, I do feel that you could probably do a lot more strategic things with custom loadouts and probably have a lot more, you know, skillful classes and such. So I'm definitely willing to accept custom armor and loadouts. It's something that we definitely need to see. Uh, really because in order to survive as a shooter, there's kind of things you need to have in today's world. And because I really think Battlefront is something that can compete with games like Halo and Call of Duty, you need to evolve, you need to definitely have things like custom armor and loadouts. So I'd love to be able to have customizable armor. Uh, I guess it would be a little different though, because it would depend on what, you know, faction you're playing as. So maybe you'd have to set a different guy for every faction. Don't really know how you would do that with droids, but with clone troopers, it would kind of be like Halo, which would be definitely cool. And as far as loadouts go, again, varies by, um, varies by your faction. So you really have to customize your thing for every faction you play, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So I would definitely like to see custom armor and loadouts. Why I don't think it's completely needed. It's something that the game should feature. And that is my number five and final feature that Star Wars Battlefront 3 must have. Well, well guys, that's all for my top five things Star Wars Battlefront 3 needs to have. Be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed this video. And again, this video would not have been possible without the folks at the Who Else Wants Star Wars Battlefront 3 fan page. Be sure to click the link down below and check out their page and leave them a like to join the awesome Battlefront community. As always guys, I'm Cyber Race Gaming and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of the latest Star Wars Battlefront 3 news. Thanks so much for watching.